Space, one of the best DLC mods out there. Fit, one of the lead creators of this. Good guy. Apparently, this is one of the best mods ever, so, like, let's play it. Please enter his name. I see what you're doing here. <laughs> well, listen, this is not me. So, as dumb as this sounds, and as cringe as it feels to write it, I mean, it's not like the guy actually has a name. I mean, it's MC, bro. God, it makes me cringe when people do, like, MC after story. Like, you know, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. But it's just, I don't know, man. Does this guy really need to be elaborated on? You know what? This mod may actually tell me different. Maybe, maybe, maybe we do need a little bit more MC in our lives. Let's see what's up with it. Amazing transition, by the way. Like, fucking amazing. So smooth, too. You know, you feel like... Normally, right, like, you fade out and you pop into the mod. This, it felt like a continuation of where we were. And I don't think it necessarily needs to be that way, but... I don't know, it just feels so different. It's like, you know, how video games nowadays, you know, you don't even notice the load times because technology has just gotten so much better. <laughs> That's, like, literally what this is. Like, DDLC mods have gotten so much better to where... You don't even notice, man. It's just so fluid. Shit. All right. Let's do it. The cold flow of water wraps around my feet. As the sounds of waves touch the shore filled with air. Uh, sorry, I'm dumb. The cold flow of water wraps around my feet. As the sounds of the waves touching the shore fill the air. It's gentle and serene. Like a collection of soft hushes whisking me away to a world of peace and slumber. The cozy air wraps around me with a small and precious hug, protecting me from any danger that may come. Splashes of water start approaching me slowly, little droplets jumping into the air, each one reflecting the light of the setting sun. Slowly, my smile gets wider, and wider as I see where the splashing is coming from. Yo! <laughs> what you doing out here? Nothing much, just, uh... Enjoying the sunset. Sounds cool. Can I join? Duh. We stand in silence, appreciating the nature song as it hums to us its little melody. The water and the wind and its elegant instruments sweeping and soaring through the air. We share a small glance at each other and I feel a warmth building between us. Together, it's like we're our own little sun. So, so, how you doing? A small wave crashes onto the shore, pushing along its already muddy sands. Let me see. Come on. This is a tough time for the both of us. Of course I'm going to ask. I'm okay. I know this is going to be hard. For us to get used to. But you know. MC curls his fist while his entire body trembles. Probably thanks to the cold winds. It's the right thing to do. He puts on a brave smile. But I can see the doubt written on his face. It's what's best. Hmm. My feet push against the water, sending small ripples across. I'm gonna miss you. I get closer to him as the gusts of wind swirl around us. I'm gonna miss you too. Okay. <laughs> Systemic, don't make me blush, okay? This is a romantic moment between MC and Siori, not me and you. Stop calling me cute right now, Baka. Make my heart go doki doki and shit. I'm gonna miss you like a lot. Me too. Crashing waves disappear one by one, and the wind hushes. 
as if they knew what was coming next. Didn't need any distractions. Are you sure you need to go? No. Then why? Why even think about it? Because... Mm, he stutters, taking a long breath between each of his words. He's trying to carefully choose what to say, but it doesn't look like he even knows where to start. Because... If you can't think of a reason, then it's not worth it. There is a reason. One that I took a lot of time to consider. And in that time, you never thought to ask me how I felt about it? A silence comes over us. There's this feeling of... desperation overtaking me. It's clouding the way that I think. The way this alcohol is. Pepe left. I know he doesn't want to do this. I know it. I know he wants to stay with me. Things... Things change, Siori. We can't always be together. We can't always lean on each other. One day, we're gonna have to grow up, and... Today's that day. The glimmers of sunlight seem to darken, leaving the water's surface flat and lifeless. Siori? Yeah? This is for the best. I... I know how I can make you feel. Isn't it better to just... let go of me? My body freezes. Not really sure how to move next. I'm causing you so much pain every day. It's not that I don't want to be with you, but... You told me how you can be... How do I say this? Depressed? He puckers his lips, making sure not to look at me straight in the eye. My nails stick into my palms, burrowing deeper and deeper. At first I feel a sting of pain, but it's drowned out by the creaking sounds of my teeth grinding against each other. I'm like feeling this way. Why? I should be happy for him if he can move on and be happy. That's... That's what I want. I want him to be happy. My feelings burden him. And leaving me by the wayside is the only way to go. It's the only sensible thing. I slap my cheeks trying to shock me back into happiness, but for some reason... I can't get my thoughts to lighten up. I bring you a lot of pain. So this is the easiest thing to do. Leave. We get to... You know... Move on. He's not wrong. My mind rushes, taking me onto an involuntary trip down the rocky rapids of my memories. A searching water lined in the stony echoes of the past. Their colors brightly glowing against the flow of time. Each violent bump down the rapids shows a little crack in my happy memories. A ray of darkness beaming through each jagged stone. Something's wrong, I said. Something annoying, I did. And back then, when I thought I was okay, I was still a burden to him. I was putting on weight. The weight that drowned me. The weight that drowned him. And here he is, trying to swim back up, and I'm... I'm trying to pull him down with me. The tide shift and the wind pushes out one more gust, making me lose my balance. I trip forward, about to head face first into the lifeless water. And at the last second, I feel a soft but firm grip on my arms. Hands with tender fingers. 
wrapping around me and filling me with warmth. They catch me, stopping my fall into the dark waters below. Hey, be careful. Sorry. Man, you were way too clumsy. <laughs> yeah. Good thing you had me here to catch you. Oh. That hurts, man. Drop of sorrow falls into the deep black black below. A teardrop water. Water is a seedling of doubt within me. No, 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 no. Don't cry. Please. He drags me up to eye level with his hands still supporting my limp body. My feet trail across the water, barely wrinkling it. But some of the ripples help the water catch some light again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm doing this. You know I love you. Right? You do? Of course I do. You're my sunshine, Siori. No amount of rain clouds could change that. But if you could forgive my crappy attempt at an extended metaphor here, something needs to happen. The forecast to change. <laughs> Few giggles leave my loose lips. W what is it? You sounded like Monica. And C lets out a hearty laugh. I use one big word and suddenly I sound like Monica. Jeez, what does a guy have to do to get some credit around here? It's not bad if you sound like her. She's amazing and smart and super cool. That's debatable. <laughs> if I wanted to sound like someone, I'd rather sound like you. Really? Yeah. You're all caring and energetic and stupid. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what? You don't need to try to sound... You don't need to try to sound like me to sound stupid. You sound stupid all by yourself. But I sound stupider when I'm with you. And isn't that the dream? I only have one brain cell. Might as well share it with you. Why is this so... Oh, man. I've been saving my commentary, but, like, this shit... So wholesome, yet heart-wrenching at the same time, yet so woke, too. Like, what a beautiful, like, continuation. Or maybe just, like, a... I, I notice what various artists likes to do a lot, especially, like, to and fit, it feels. They love to, like, continue Doki Doki Literature Club in a way to where it gives, like, a social commentary on the community, and, like, it's, it almost is, like, it's almost kind of like jabs. I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about it forever. I want to continue. This is really good. But, like, yeah, I really like this type of writing because, like, I think it's such a cool way to, like, sew it into canonical DDLC. While also calling out the community and being like, is this what you want? Or is this how you should feel? Or have you ever thought about this? Do you understand that this is how the characters actually feel if we go deeper on them a little bit? I guess they also do a very good job at just, yeah, giving a little bit of a, a deeper understanding of the characters too. So anyway, it's really good. We will continue. Hello, Natsuki and you're unhopeful, senpai. Why do I say unhopeful? You're hopeful, senpai. MC. Siori. Again, the silence peaks its ugly head, leaving our thoughts at the forefront of our minds. Think of it this way, Siori. I'll leave and you can stop thinking about me. 
you can stop thinking about how I ignored you on that day, or how I didn't talk to you on the other day. You can just focus on you. Beautiful, heartfelt, and singular you. And then, maybe one day, maybe, I'll come back, and then we can meet again. We can start over, and this time, we'll know that our love is true. Because after all that time, after the hurt is healed, if we still truly love each other, it means that I didn't love you to help with my hurt. Exactly. That's... You're right. Finally, I feel a smile coming on. A smile that lights me up again. This'll be hard, but it'll be worth it. I look at him in the eyes and see a soft stare. His eyes are true and honest. And they would never, ever lie to me. However, while I wasn't paying attention, the seedling of doubt sprouted within me. Suddenly, there was only one question on my mind. But if you're gone, who will catch me when I fall? His face beams even brighter. It'll be you. You'll catch yourself when you fall. The first time, you'll trip and scrape your heart. But next time, you'll catch yourself just fine. His eyes stare into mine. The same soft, true and honest stare. It makes me feel warm. It makes me feel safe. It lifts me up and makes me feel stronger. I guess he tells me the truth. You really think that I could do that? His smile shines across the dark surroundings, reassuring me. No. He lets go of me and a seeping dizziness overcomes me as I fall into the dark waters below. It was shallow. Just a second ago, but now I'm suddenly falling deeper into it. A never-ending darkness and I keep falling, falling, with no crown in sight. All around me I start seeing small stars twinkling along the black sea. Their lights are so dim, but maybe if I swim closer, it will get brighter. My hand reaches for a nearby star, but I can't. I can't reach it! I keep trying to push myself closer, but the light just keeps going farther and farther away. Please, no. I, I can't see. I can't see. My body starts cracking and breaking under the overwhelming pressure of the emptiness around me, and finally... Gives up. I fall through the empty darkness and slowly lose myself in it. Waves of dreams, echoes of my broken bliss, memories of misery. Some comfort in being alone, at least. My eyes close, and I'm finally ready to let go. Oh, you don't get out that easy. This one soft hand roughly grabs a hold of my collar and yanks me out of the darkness. Open your eyes, Siori. You need to see this. I'm see, I... What? Too tired? You've had enough sleep for today. And now you need to face the truth. His crawling of fingers start getting familiar with my face and pry my eyes open, showing me the world around me. 
What? What's happening? Look, Siori. Hmm? Look! Um... What is happening? I'm stuck. What? Oh my god, my mouse died. I thought it was a th Oh my god, I thought it was literally a thing where- Oh my god. I thought it was a thing where, um... Where I was gonna minimize the game and there was gonna be, like, something to look at on my desktop and it was gonna freak me out. My mouse just died instead. Holy shit. Um... Okay, I think we can still see. I said look! At what? What do you want me to look at? <sighs> no good. He throws me away like he's getting rid of one of his old toys we used to play with. I fall on the shallow. My outstretched hands hit the cloudy floor. My wrist flaring up in searing pain. Oh, it hurts! MC, it hurts! I think I broke my wrist! He looks down at me, burning a hole into me with his glaring eyes. At least you're finally awake. MC reaches into his pocket, pulling out a matchbox with only a single match rattling inside. He pulls out the slightly bent matchstick and lights it. Why are you lighting a match? We're gonna need all the light we can get. Now stand. I try my hardest to get back on my feet, but I lose balance and immediately fall to the ground. Siori. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't. Everything hurts. There's a slight pit of pity in his eyes. A peek at his soft truth. Which gives me a little bit of hope. He looks away, gripping his arm tightly, and pulls me up. I feel a flaring pain in my arm, where his hand is wrapped. MC, you're... you're hurting me! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't... I'll let go now. No! <sighs> of course. Useless as always. Can't stand on her own two feet. I'm, see, I'm sorry. Look at you. Ugly, heartless, and lonely you. You made my life a living hell. You put so much on me. I didn't mean to. I... My bones rattle overwhelmed by freezing air around me. But you did. You... Looks away from me, his face crunched up in pain. You made me take responsibility for you. You told me you were depressed, and then you told me... You told me that you had feelings for me? What were you trying to do? Trap me? Trap me into saying yes. All because I didn't want to lose my best friend. And I say yes, okay? I say yes. I say that I love you. And you had the gall to start telling me how it didn't make you happy? How? It wasn't enough? What more do you want from me? He's gripping my arm tightens even more and he starts to flail me around as if I'm an oversized prop. I, I was hurting. I didn't know what to do. So you went back to the one thing you knew how to do. Manipulating people to get what you want. You act like you just want everyone to be happy, but God forbid you do something you don't like. You might cry and whine about how you want us to all be friends and how we're hurting your feelings. Well, it's not about you, okay? It's not about how you want and how you feel. We all have our problems, Siori. Every word he says wraps tightly around my throat. 
suffocating me. I try to speak, but nothing comes out. Looks down the, the clouds. What? Where are we? I'm so confused. You know what, Siori? You are just about the most selfish and pitiful person I have ever met. I thought... I thought I could trust you. Look! Look around you! The sun is setting. What? The light is going out, Siori. And it's not because of me. It's not because of Natsuki. It's not because of Yuri. And it's not because of Monica. It's because of you. You did this. Did, did what? I, I can't. I, I don't. MC flickers the hand that's holding the match and its fire suddenly grows wider and stronger than ever before, singeing me from afar. And let's go of my arm and I start falling again. Before I make any distance, MC grabs me by the head. And his fingers dig holes into my forehead. I scream in pain as he turns my head to face the inverted sun. Look at it, Siori! Look! But I can't respond. The only thing that comes out of me is small whimpers. You useless, thoughtless, brainless waste of space. Look at it! He drops the fiery match, setting the ground ablaze. His fingers stick into my skull and pry my eyes open. My tears try to fall, but his hands won't let them. The sun is setting, Siori. It's setting! The sun is going out, and it is your fault. It's all your fault. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Not to me. At least. Because in the end... You're the one doing this to yourself. You're making everything dark. It's not like you're important enough to drag the rest of us down with you. In the end, it's down to you. You're so worthless that it won't ever be about anything but you. The world will slowly go dark around you, and it's not because you didn't have a choice. It's because you made it go dark. Siori. You made it go dark. You chose this. Do you understand, Siori? I... Do you understand? Your trashy, selfless, worthless, incomplete excuse for a human being. Do you understand? I... Do you... Understand? I do. I understand. Good. <sighs> My hands are doing this thing where like everything is just going tingly. My whole body's going numb. Ah, oh, it feels horrible. <sighs> MC picks up a dimly lit match and holds it up to me with his hand gently placed on my shoulder. It's so dark. There's still a little bit of light, Siori. I... I don't deserve it. I'm awful. I'm selfish. I'm worthless. I... I don't deserve any light. Then put it out, Siori. He holds the match up closer to me. Its dim light gives off a small warmth. Put it out, and let it all finally go dark. I lift my shivering fingers. 
the fiery end of the match. With a pinch, choke out the flame. What the? Oh my god, Siori! What do I... Siori, I'll cut you down. Just... Just let me get something sharp. Stay with me, okay? Stay with me! Oh my god, this is the one time- I have makeup on, I can't cry. I can't cry, dude. Holy shit. Ooh, fit. Ooh, man. Fuck. Oh god! Oh man. Ah. Oh. Oof. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That was really good. Oh my god, that was really good. Oh my god, that was really good. Wow. Oh my god, again, I already kind of did it, but like, round of applause for that, like, wow, 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 yeah, yup, 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 just a, you know, it's funny, because, you know, this is like a mod spotlight, so, you know, normally, I, I, I mean, I, if it wants, I'll still definitely bring them on to talk about this, for sure, but, you know, I love this mod as well, because, like, it's, it's so easy to understand what it means, yet it still hits so goddamn hard and really makes you think, man. It really does. Oh, man. Oh, man, dude. <sighs> so, yes, TLDR. I don't think I need to say it, but, you know. This is essentially Siori's last moments before she decides to kill herself. She has a lot going on for her. She has a best friend that really cares about her. She has a club. Everybody's happy. Everything's going really damn well. But because, unfortunately, she has clinical depression, at least that's, you know, that's what we, you know, assume, <sighs> you know, it doesn't really matter. You don't think logically. And, you know, the juxtaposition is so beautiful because it's like, what the fuck is MC saying all of a sudden? Like, what? This is horrible. And, you're, you know, you're like, this doesn't even make any sense. And that's the fucking point is it doesn't make any fucking sense. Depression makes sense. There's ways to, you know, understand it and cope with it. You know, you know, that's why you get yourself a therapist and they help. But like... The actual illness that you have, it becomes just so illogical sometimes when you're just that deep. And clearly, that night, Siori was very deep in it because she, we know that she killed herself. And then we see it in the end, too. So, um, yeah, that's, um, that's, that's moving. That's gut-wrenching. That's a beautiful insight into her character and just depression as a whole. Um, I always hate kind of making claims like that, the, the last thing with like mental illness, because I like to consume a lot of media about mental illness, even though I don't think I have any mental illness. So, you know, I don't have personal experiences with depression, right? Again, uh, clinical depression. I have been depressed. I know that. But, you know, it's always hard, right? Because it's like, well, I don't have depression. So like, you know, can I really be like, that was a great depiction if I've never personally experienced it. But like, that felt right to me. And um, usually I like to kind of converse with people and like get them to play the piece of media, somebody that has that, you know, that is suffering from different things like that. And then they'll be like, yeah, damn, that was good. And I'll be like, all right, yeah, cool. But yeah, I don't know. That felt right. That felt great. And um, it was really fucking sad. Damn, bro. Fuck, man. <sighs> yeah, like I know what depression does uh, because I have searched up a lot of stuff recently i've actually searched up a lot of different mental illness mental illnesses because um again i'm playing the serial experiments lane game uh systemic 
I am going as fast as I can to complete that game so I can make a video for you and then get you to play it. Uh, it's just been uh, a little tough. It's a game that you're pretty much supposed to slowly digest, and it's an ancient game with really slow UI. But uh, but we'll get there. But yeah, because of that game, it deals with a lot of different mental illnesses. So I've I've been just like googling and like reading like articles about different illnesses. <laughs> so yeah, um, I, again, like literally. <laughs> I don't want to say my entire reason of existence is this, but like I am uh, the biggest thing that I do in my life is just trying to understand every single perspective in the world. That's like what I do. I don't even necessarily like strive to do it. It's just like I gravitate towards that. So, um, yeah, trying to understand where people are coming from, um, in terms of like people that are suffering from mental illness. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I really, I really try to do that. And recently I've been sp exposing myself to a lot of media that, again touches on subjects like that so yeah it's annoying because uh, i get offended for people very often <laughs> when i'm like at my day job and i'm like socializing with fucking normies dude people will make comments and i'm just like man like you so clearly are just like not thinking about like you're clearly not putting yourself in this person's shoes and it's partially not their fault because they don't know how to put themselves in their shoes. I think luckily I am empathetic and I take the time to try and understand, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, fuck man, fucking hell. So, um, Fit, if you are still here again, I know you want to go to bed soon. Um, if you think I did a good enough job talking about the mod, um, we can leave it at that. Or if you want to talk, man, I'm, I'm obviously always open to talking to you. I fucking love you. Oh, you'd like to come on? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool, yep. Hello? Yep, I can hear you. You sound a little far away from the mic. Yeah, uh, yeah, can you hear me? Yep, 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 that's good. All right, hey, Twitch chat. <laughs> okay, Fit, Um, you know, I have made a DDLC tier list. Obviously, I assume you've probably checked out the video. Actually, have you? Have you looked at my tier list? I think I've seen all the old ones. I've only done one, so if you saw it, then you saw okay, it. Okay, so yeah, then I've seen it, yeah. Okay, so if I had to do a little update, a little boop, 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 tally it up, space mm -hmm. is, it's probably going into like, again, it's weird because again, it is very much like a continuation of the game in a sense, but I would put it in like its own game category, which was like the top tier thing, like mm -hmm. top five favorite mods of all time. That was amazing. So um, I'll give you the floor fit. Just, I assume you have things on your mind. What do you want to talk about when it comes to this mod? Yeah, uh, so... Basically, I just kind of wanted to talk about uh, something. Uh, you said it was like like this accurate depiction of depression, which I don't know, everyone goes to their own thing, right? Sure. It's not very like 100% the same thing. This was very much a reflection of what I felt a lot. But one of the points I wanted to really emphasize with the mod is that it doesn't come out of nowhere, the self-hatred. I think a lot of people like to characterize it as worthless and useless and like, oh, you just hate yourself and like, and it's not really based in reality. One of the things I kind of wanted to really communicate in the mod is that Siri did do some fucked up things. Like, yeah, elaborate a little bit just for the people. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, when MC said, like, I tell you, I love you right and you say it didn't change things like what were you trying to do trap me because from a uh you know from a very like logical point of view that is messed up to tell someone i'm depressed by the way i love you yeah it puts you in a really sticky situation and you highlighted that perfectly yeah 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 so like a lot of sayori's feelings don't come from nowhere especially about herself it's just there's also this inherent contradiction in what MC says, which is everyone has their own problems. So why does why are Sayori's problems any worse? Yeah, well, right? I'm, yeah. I mean, I I hate to like kind of generalize, but like you know, you see people with like it's almost like I don't know. I guess I'll use like Keemstar as an example because he says that mental illness does not exist. It's like yeah, bro, like. People are sad. We have our problems. What the fuck, man? Just deal with it. It's like, that's... Again, everybody here knows that's not how it works. But there are many people like that in the world that that, that is how they see it. That is their perception. So it's definitely valuable to showcase. Yeah. 
it's like everyone uses like the whole not everyone but like some people use that whole everyone has their own problems thing as a way of demonizing people with mental illness mm-hmm. right but rather i think it should be used as a way to build them up be like because a lot of the things about feeling this kind of way the worst part about it is the isolation feeling alone right you feel like you're the only one taking on all this burden the reality is that it's shared with a bunch of people so knowing that you know other people suffer from problems not just mental health but just in general getting that perspective really helps you it does and and it's, oh can i go or are you good yeah you go you go okay yeah like because when that moment happened again it, it was like it immediately hit me to where I'm like, what the fuck, MC? Like, like Jesus Christ. Like, I think it yeah. works perfectly because, again, we hit that transition where, like, that's pretty much how, again, I think you kind of want us to feel because it, it is so jarring. It's crazy. It's like, dude, like, do you not understand at all? So, yeah, those lines specifically, again, it, it, it like, almost puts me into, like, attack mode. I'm like, what? Like, what are you talking about? But it's also so perfect, too, because, like, it still is like it still makes sense because again there are people like that that go down that line of thinking. So yeah, for me it it perfectly worked. Yeah, and honestly the mod itself is pretty personal to me because it came in a very weird time in my life. Because all right, here's a personal thing I'm sharing with the with the with the chat today. In my relationships, I have never been the dumper. I have always been the dumpy. Hmm. Right? Mhm. But for the first time in my life, I had to make that choice mm. to end a relationship. And it had to be by my own hands. And uh, that's what created the first part of this mod. Yeah. The whole, you know, separation. And the whole, like, let's take time. Let's be alone. And then, but at the same time, when I was going through all that, I couldn't uncouple that from my depressive episode at the time. So it all just jumbled up into this thing. That's why if it feels a little visceral to you, it's because it is very much an expression of me at the time. Yeah. And and again, what's like so beautiful about that is like it's great to have that context and it's really cool. But like you want like you don't have to have it because like yeah. it because just like like other people feel the way you do too like these are like lived experiences these are things that people also go through so like that's why like certain pieces of media like like again so you had that there is somebody else that has had that exact situation and they might relate to it so hard it's really like 10 out of 10 and that's why like things are so subjective because it, it again like ratings come down to like how much you relate to things a lot more than people think yeah that's actually a you bring up a really good point because that's a tip I'm going to give to any future mod creators who are watching this or whatever. Uh, make your stories about very specific things that you felt because the truth is it's the specific things that you felt that everyone else felt too. It's the universality of the specific. It's always the little details everyone seems to share. Yeah, and and to kind of add on to that, um, there's uh, he's getting pretty mainstream at this point, but uh, but um, their YouTube channel is called Healthy Gamer GG or whatever. It's a you know therapist that has done a lot of different talks with popular streamers and also goes on like his own Reddit and like you know reads different like issues people are having and then tackles them, and you know it'll be again they're like very pinpointed things. It's like, you know, I. I I could just use a random example. I mean, the most recent video, this is a little bit more widespread, but it's like, you know, actually, let me just go to the channel real quick so I can just literally rattle off some, uh, some titles real quick because I think this will be worth it. So, okay. Title, you have no purpose. How to actually handle rejection. Nostalgia getting stuck in the past. Um, uh, you are spoiled. Why you lie to avoid conflict. I'm scared of chasing my dreams. I meditated. Now I don't care anymore. You can't live your life to the fullest bouncing from one addiction to another. Can people even change? These things are like, you know, they're broad in a sense, but like the thing I want to pinpoint the most is in the comment section down below on all of these videos, the one of the top comments is always, oh my God, like 
I don't know how it happened, but this is the exact video I needed right now. This is exactly what I'm going through. This helps. Like, yeah. when people, yeah, when you detail a specific thing you're feeling, all of a sudden you're going to notice that, like, whoa. So many people either have experienced that or can relate to it in at least some type of way. Yeah, because not everyone's experienced depression, but everyone has experienced that one time you got rejected by a girl and you, you know, you felt in the dumps and mm -hmm. the part of you that you felt was lost. Everyone's experienced that. Exactly. Not everyone has depression. That's, that's why, like, again, I, I used to be, like, a little almost afraid to be, like, you know... I'm depressed or, you know, basically just like using the word depressed, but it's completely okay because yes, P everybody has experienced a symptom of depression. You like basically have to in your life. Um, if you don't, you're probably like, you have, it's, you have another type of mental illness if you haven't. So, so yeah. yeah I, it's, it's kind of like a symptom of the society we live in. We have too much time on our hands. Yeah. So we think too deeply on things. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Again, it's like such a blessing and a curse. <laughs> yeah. But uh, also, just the thing. I guess this is the first time I'm announcing this. Well, okay. I'll leave that for a little bit. I'll just say this extra thing before I do the announcement, mm -hmm. which is um, uh, me and like me and you in space share a lot of things and themes and like it's the same Sayori in both, same kind of character. Oh yeah, I could tell. Right, and uh, it's funny if you look at it from that perspective how wrong she really is, because one of the whole points of me and you was you're depressed, but that doesn't make you special. That doesn't mean your problem is huge and like terrifying, and you can you know you can you'll cope, and I'll help you, and I'm not I'm not afraid to help you, which is the complete opposite of what this one says, which shows really in perspective how that problem really is mm -hmm. you know yeah yeah no it's beautiful yeah. um so i guess the big announcement i'm gonna make here well i don't know if it's big but this is a part of after sayori space it okay is, okay it is a direct it is in the universe it is an event that happened in that continuity and when After Story comes out, you will get space with it. It's packaged in. And yeah, there'll be a little other extra knickknacks in there too that you, I think you guys will enjoy. So yeah. Awesome. So wait, that was the first time you ever announced that? Yeah, that it's directly related to After Yo, Story. let's go. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, and this is obviously going to be a YouTube video, so now I can, like, clickbait it, but yeah. not clickbait it, and be like, the most important DDLC announcement ever in human history? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I guess uh, if you're, like, if you want expansion on a lot of these themes, like loneliness, depression, and all, all that, After Sayori is going to give you all of that. Great. Great. Yeah, well, I will definitely be plugging that when that comes out. I am sure I um I hold you in in very high regards as I'm sure you know. You are one Thank of my favorite so people out there. I loved talking to you. I know this was a short combo, but a great one. Yeah. Even a couple of people in the chat were like, that was some insightful stuff. I, I love talking to you, yeah. man. I think we can great like create some really great stuff together. So again, mm -hmm. we have yeah. things in the works. Fit, let's get on some shit. We will do something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh <laughs> What wait? What mod are you playing next? I have no fucking idea. Oh, uh, play ego death. All right, see you guys. Okay, see ya. <laughs> All right, so um, bookend to that. That was like a beautiful segment. Holy shit! You don't need to go play space yourself, I guess, because we finished it and we just literally talked about everything about it. But like, some top tier stuff. Um, I forgot to ask Fit to, you know, plug his shit, but again, this will definitely be a YouTube video. So that'll all be in the description. We'll have, he works with the team Various Artists. Discord link for Various Artists will be there. Link to their channel. Link to Fit stuff. We'll get it all sorted. But, um, yeah. That will be it for that. Whew! Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. 
Um, yeah, yeah, okay, alright, alright, yeah, be, be right back, guys. Fucking, woo! That was a hot hour, man! Woo! That was good! Like, seriously, like, like a, like a fit, I goes raw, like, crim, couple other people, like, podcast, man? Like, I'm telling you, like, it, shit could be good.